Hello viewers, welcome to the last section, exporting data. Here we will be first creating a printable map and then share the raw data. Now we move on to the video, creating a printable map. In this video, we will be clipping features and finally export the map. Even the simple task of making a map can involve some geoprocessing. The most basic geo algorithms in GIS are buffer, clip, intersection, difference, union and merge. Some experts also consider dissolve a basic geo algorithm, although it involves merge and multipart conversion with some criteria. Now we will use clipping to get features only in our study area. In order to clip our layers we need two things, an input layer and a clip layer. The clip layer contains the cookie cutter, while the input layer is clipped to the clip layer's shape. As we have a filter on our administrative boundaries layer, we have the perfect clip layer at hand. Any vector layer can act as an input layer, however we should only consider layers sticking out from our study area. For every input layer, we have to iterate the steps. First, select QGIS Geo Algorithms. Click on Vector Overlay Tools and click Clip from the Processing Toolbox. Then select the current input layer as Input Layer and select the filtered administrative boundaries layer as clip layer. Type memory as the output name. After running the algorithm, copy the styling of the original layer to the new one with the two simple steps that we did earlier. We rename it as roads by clipped. Then copy this styles and paste it in our clipped file. We will do the same thing for remaining files, that is for land use, waterways and water bodies. As you saw after running the algorithm, we got the clipped version of our input as a memory layer. It is a very important, very handy format for storing intermediate results. Memory layers differ from temporary layers, hence the latter are saved to a temporary folder as shape files and deleted once we restart our computer. Memory layers can be edited in place. We can do any modifications we see fit before saving the final results to the disk. There is only one thing we cannot do with memory layers. Save them with our project. Once we close QGIS, the memory layers are gone for good. Only their layers panel entries remain. In the current version, memory layers inherit the algorithm's name. Thus, it is strongly recommended to rename the layer immediately as we did now. Furthermore, you can save your memory layers in your project file with the Memory Layer Saver plugin. It saves memory layers in a binary format to an ML data file along with your project file. Now that we have included the modifications our map needs, we can export our map from the Print Composer. As we have a composer in our project, we can access it with the Composer Manager tool from the main toolbar and click on Show. If the maps do not show anything, we can select their respective items and click on Update Preview. The only thing we have to modify is the legend. The bad news is, we need QGIS to recreate the whole legend with the Legend Items Update All button and modify the result. Fortunately, this is quite an easy task. If the result looks good enough in its current form, we can export it directly to an image or PDF format. We can access the tools Export as Image and Export as PDF from the main toolbar of the Print Composer. After creating the best visualisation possible in QGIS, we might still need some changes to be made. This process is called post-processing and can be done in various ways. We can edit the map in an image editor or we can export the map in SVG format and edit it with a vector editor. With scalable vector graphics, we can drop geo-referencing but still keep our vectors using screen coordinates. Let's do that by exporting the map with the Export as SVG tool. First, select the destination. On selecting the destination of our SVG file, a dialog pops up offering some options. We should check the Render Map Labels as Outlines checkbox. This way, we can move labels easily. If we open the result in a vector editor, you will realise that the blending options are gone. The SVG format does not support storing blending modes and every software uses its own mechanics for this. As QGIS exports different layers to different SVG layers, we can access the SRTM layer as shown here. 
and apply a blending mode available in the software. SVG export can create some artifacts, but they can be handled by masking out the unwanted parts. In this video, we created printable map. Superb!